with the new unity government is crippling the economy and further devastating the lives of millions of ordinary people living in Palestine, further impeding the development of enduring peace, peaceful solutions. There will be no security in Palestine or in Israel without full respect for human rights and international law. That's what people are asking for. These are the principles that are fundamentally Canadian and these are the principles that must underlie Canada's foreign policy in the region. And to that end, I want to assure you once again that the NDP will continue to advocate constructive engagement and development assistance through the Palestinian unity government. Like in Afghanistan. Respect for international human rights and humanitarian law in our vote at the United Nations and other international arenas. Canada's diplomatic engagement to help broker peace talks between Palestinian and Israeli parliamentarians as well as through their governments. Support for the courageous civil society groups and those elected representatives in the region who have the guts and the determination to go on advocating for aggressive dialogue, for robust peace negotiations, for human rights and just solutions. And finally, an end to the occupation, because without the end to the occupation, nothing, nothing else will secure justice, what about let Haiti? alone enduring what peace about Afghanistan? for the people of Palestine. I want to wish you strength and courage and conviction in your continuing commitment to fighting for justice and peace for the people of Palestine and I want to ensure you that the new Democratic Party stands proudly in solidarity with you. Thank you very much.